Oh my god! Hello, I repeat, an angel's fallen, we have a fallen angel. So, you're an angel, huh? Yep, I'm a guardian angel sent from heaven to protect mankind. Okay, good, because somebody opened a gateway to hell, and no demons have escaped and threatened to destroy a world, and you are our only hope. Actually, I lied, I'm here because I got kicked out of heaven. Wait, what? Now, oh, don't worry, I'll still help you with your hell of a problem. Well, better than nothing, I guess. So, you got a name? My name is Agent Conspiracy. I'm the head of this top secret facility of research and supernatural paranormal activity. Paranormal? Well, I think you're paranoid. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'd like to meet your team. All right. Oh, hello there, Evan Boy. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. So, what are you supposed to be? Some kind of Cthulhu or something? No, I'm half squid, half man. My name is Squidward. Well, nice to meet you, Squidward. No, 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 it's actually Squidward. Squidward? Squidward. Squidward? Yes, exactly. Hmm. How much is a Squidward? Well, oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Very funny. Yeah, someone tells me you and I are going to be best buds, Squidward. Well, that is the my main purpose in this film. Hey, want to go grab a beer? I would be delighted to. So, what do they call you, gorgeous? Don't call me gorgeous. Instead, you can call me Icy Hot. Icy Hot? Isn't that the name of that pain reliever stuff that Shaq used to advertise? Um. Icy Hot. So cool, it's smoking. So, Icy Hot. Let me guess. You're gonna use one of those cliche pickup lines like, Did you fall out of heaven because you're an angel? How about you? That's what I am. True. So, buy your hand ice, huh? Yeah, I mean, the writers originally wanted me to be an ice queen, but that cliché is highly overrated. So instead, I chose to have the best of both worlds. Yeah, can't argue with that. Oh, pardon me for asking this, but what is on your left hand? Oh, this? I was born with it. I call it the left hand of God. Really? Because it looks more like a cheap plastic infinity gauntlet. Hey, this film's on a budget, and we gotta work with what we got. True. My costume my isn't very well high quality either. Alright, listen up. If we're gonna save the world before hell raises, we need to learn how to exercise the demons. Now, there are many ways to do it. Some prefer a cross, some use holy water, or in my case, shoot the hell out of them. Hell yeah, now you're talking. Doesn't that sound a bit extreme? Ah, uh, don't be a wuss. Yeah, this here is my favorite gun. I call her Sweet Baby Jesus. She uses holy bullets. Yeah. Just one shot of this, and then Demon Punks will be praying for mercy. <laughs> you ready? Meant to do that? Well, we're doomed. I'm afraid I must agree with you. What majestic wings you have. Oh, thanks. Wait, uh, you look different. Yeah, the other guy got uh, food poisoning. Oh, okay. Can I feel your wings? Sure, go ahead. In fact, I'll let you feel more than just my wings. I may be an angel, but there's nothing wrong with a little sin. Don't push your luck, angel boy. Ow! It's heaven boy. Out of cu curiosity, can you fly? Hmm. Wanna find out? Frightfully rude of me, I'm sorry. Well, remind me not to get on his bad side. So, Heaven Boy, how come you got banished from Heaven? Well, here's the thing. Somebody opened up a hellhole, led demons into Heaven, which then killed a bunch of angels, stole millions of innocent souls, and dragged them to hell. Wow, well that's messed up. Indeed. And now, everyone thinks I did it. I keep trying to tell them it's my evil brother who's always been jealous of my good looks and whatnot, but nobody would believe me. 
now I'm, and now I'm stuck here. Well, I know what it feels like to be alienated and rejected from humanity just because you're different. Well, if you think that's bad, try getting rejected from heaven and blamed for an unholy crime you didn't commit. Yeah, you're right. Your life is way more messed up than mine. Yeah, well, don't get me wrong. I still feel for you. I mean, you have an amazing gift, and you should never be judged for it. You are pure awesomeness. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Thanks. Well, whatever happens to us, we're in this together. Okay. It's a cold day in hell. Agent Conspiracy? You're the one behind all this? I may be a conspiracy, but I'm the agent. I am your brother. Boy, what a plot twist, huh? All my life, I've been living in your shadow. Our mother always liked you best. God liked you best. You were always better than me at everything. And you always had to rub it in my face. Everyone in heaven looks down to me. Like I'm a demon turd. Cause all they do, look up to, like a hero or something. But no more! Now that all that heaven thinks you're the one who betrayed them, they'll never let you back in. Now you have no choice but to watch all your friends die, along with the rest of the mortal world. Well soon enough, you will burn the fires in hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Let me get this straight here. You betrayed God, let demons into heaven, killed your own kind, sacrificed millions of innocent souls to the devil, and threatened to destroy the entire freaking world, all because you were jealous and wanted to get even with me. Mm. As a big bro, I'm gonna be honest. Brother, I love you, but uh, you are a psychopathic idiot, and you're going to hell. Not if I send you myself! So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Goodbye, brother. Really? Uh, that's it? You know, I thought this was going to be a lot more epic and climatic. You know, like a big hero versus villain moment? Well, that's anti-climatic, but whatever. I may be an angel, but I ain't no angel. Okay, seriously, who wrote the script?